What is up guys, Alex from thetechnoclass.com here, uh, coming to you with an educational video. This is not a review, this is not, you know, any sort of gadget product or anything. We're going to talk about science. Okay, this is science. This is why it's called learning, learning with Alex up there. On the, that. I'm going to teach you about infrared. And uh, why, I don't know why, how it will apply to your life. A lot of people would maybe would be maybe interested in infrared because it actually can see through clothes. Okay, I'm gonna show you how it can see through clothes and why they sort of banned uh, infrared technology from emerging because they don't want people to you know use it to to look through clothes. Um, and you can see our, my infrared camera over on the top right corner right now. That's my infrared camera. And it's actually modified. This is the actual camera itself right here on this uh, picture in picture. And I'll show you the differences between regular light and infrared light. For example, we have a smartphone right here and it only emits regular light. And I've turned up the brightness to maximum. And as you can see on the regular camera, you can definitely see that picture. But on the infrared camera, it sees nothing because the smartphone only emits regular light, not infrared. If you look at this, this is a piece of shades, right? This is a regular old shades. And look at what it does in infrared. There is no shading effect in infrared. You can actually see my eyes inside the shades instead of, you know, the, the uh, actual, you know, shading part of the shades. Now that's part of why it can see through clothes. Uh, infrared light, light also doesn't see pigments uh, because it will reflect the material and not the pigment. For example, we have a plastic of mercury drug right here. And as you can see, it doesn't reflect the red parts and you can't see the mercury drug logo on the infrared uh, version of our camera. So here is a doctor's note. And as you can see, it has writing. It has writing on the regular light, but on the infrared camera, it's completely blank because pigments are not seen in infrared. Uh, as you can see on the regular light camera, we can see that it says YouTube with a T-U-B-E lettering in red, and you can't see that on the infrared light. So what if I cover the YouTube magazine with a piece of paper? Okay. So as you can see on the regular light camera, you can't actually see anything underneath. Uh, here, look at the regular camera, okay? There's nothing underneath. Even if I twist it around there, you can't see anything underneath that piece of paper. But on the infrared camera, you can actually see the shape of the U on the YouTube. See? YouTube. See? This is a regular t-shirt. Now I'm going to put the YouTube magazine underneath the t-shirt. As you can see right here, this is the actual shirt. I'm not, this is not a fake cut in cut picture in picture crap. This is an actual shot of what the YouTube magazine looks like inside this blue t-shirt. What if we have a jacket? The jackets are really, really thick, right? Here's the magazine. I'll put it under the jacket. Ha, huh. look at that, okay. So I'm wearing a, this is essentially if you're wearing a fully polyester jacket, this is a really thick jacket that's really warm in there. And you can still see that YouTube logo underneath. Let's try and get that. Where's that part? Okay, that, there, there you go. So you can see, still see the U on the magazine underneath, right? This is essentially how uh, infrared can look through um, clothes. And I'm just using the light that's coming out of my window. And that's the reason why they sort of banned this kind of technology in uh, cameras these days. But of course, it still exists. Night vision cameras, night vision CCTVs are still using infrared technology. That's why the colors are so weird. But they use both regular and infrared light. 